This is amazing. Now we have Arise Phoenix. It is an open source tracing and evaluation tool. You can trace, evaluate and iterate on generative AI applications. The tracing is out of the box, evals in one command, easy iteration on your prompts, clustering of your data and everything is open source. This is now running locally on my computer where I am able to trace every open AI calls made by AI application and also Langchain and Llama index traceability. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about Arise Phoenix. Using this, you're able to trace your AI application, your AI agents, you're able to evaluate LLM calls, whether it's a hallucination or not. You are able to monitor your RAG application. So when you take an AI application, there's multiple things involved, such as LLM, chain, tool, agent, embedding, retriever, and re-ranker. You are able to trace all of this. So even when taking an AI application, when the user asks a question or query using the user interface, that will be converted to embeddings and stored in the vector database. Then data filtering happens. Then it's sent for prompt optimization. Then the optimized prompt sent to the large language model. Then it is filtered. And finally, the user will get the output. So when you see an AI application, it consists of multiple areas where it could fail. So it's good to have tracing for all these steps. As a user, you will be aware only of these two areas. So you ask a question and you get a response. But at the back end, all these things are happening. And the point of failure could be anything. By monitoring your application, you are able to identify the issue and fix it. By the end of this video, you will learn how you can install this Arise Phoenix, run your own Phoenix server locally like this, and how you can integrate that with your own application in Python. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First step, pip install Arise Phoenix evals OpenAI and all these Langchain packages. Mainly we are focusing on Arise Phoenix. Then we will be creating an OpenAI application and start tracing. Then we will be creating a Langchain application and start tracing. And also I'll show you how you can do it for Llama index as well. So first, how we can do using OpenAI. So I'm going to install this by clicking enter. So first we are going to see how you can start the server. Then we'll be seeing OpenAI, then Langchain, then Llama index. So in your terminal, let's create a file called server.py and then open it. So in server.py, import Phoenix as PX and then session equals PX.launch app. That's it, only two lines and we are able to start the server. To do that, go back to our terminal in VS Code, then just type python -m phoenix -server -main serve. That's it. Now click enter. Phoenix. And you can see it's running in this URL. Now I'm going to open this URL. You can see the logs coming in. So just copying it. And you can see that is the URL which I logged in. Now step number one, integrating with your OpenAI application. So going to open another terminal. In that, export your OpenAI API key like this and then click enter. OpenAI provides GPT-4 models. We are going to integrate GPT-4 O mini into your own Python application and then trace this. So to use OpenAI model, you need OpenAI API key, which you can generate from OpenAI website. After this, click enter. Just a reminder that the previous terminal is still running. This is like a new terminal. We can just click this icon to open it. Then next, create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside the file, import Phoenix as PX, then OpenAI Instrumenter, then OpenAI, import the packages. Now initializing the instrument. So in this way, you're modifying the OpenAI SDK, which is OpenAI's own way of interacting with their own model. So we are modifying that using this instrument function. Generally, for a normal AI application using OpenAI, we don't use this instrument. So this is where the change to include this tracing happens. Now calling the client equals OpenAI. Now we need to ask questions to the large language model. To do that, I'm going to create conversation and here I'm going to give two messages. One is the system message telling that you are a helpful assistant. That is the AI agent. Next, we got the user. That's you and me asking a question. Hello, can you help me with something? Or I can just say, give me a daily meal planned for me today. Next, response. There we are providing client.chat.completions.create. 
and the model is GPT-4 O mini and adding the conversation that's the message. Finally, assistant reply and then printing the response. That's it. Only few lines of code, just calling the model with the question and then printing the response. Now I'm going to run this in your terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now you can see the, here's the balanced meal plan for your day. Breakfast, mid-morning snack, lunch, afternoon snack, dinner, dessert, hydration. So that's the response from the larger language model. At the same time, when you come to the Phoenix dashboard, you can see there's the LLM call, chat completion. When I click that, you can see the input message. You are a helpful assistant. Give me a daily meal plan for my today and the response. Everything is properly tracked and we are able to monitor every conversation. Imagine you have an AI application which is calling the API thousands of time. And to identify if any error occurs, you need tracing like this. Next, let's see about Langchain. So the third step is Langchain integration. So here is one of Langchain application. So the key difference is that it uses Langchain instrumentator, say like OpenAI instrumentator. And we are calling the instrument function here. In this way, it modifies the basic Langchain calling capability and add the own tracing. So as a simple application, we are loading data from this URL, then divide that into small chunks using text splitter, then embedding that using OpenAI embedding and saving that in Chroma DB. Then we are asking a question, what is task decomposition? So the answer for this is available in this URL. So the AI is going to get the question from the user, go through this URL and give the final answer. That's it. So this one line will automatically add the traceability. Now I'm going to run this code in your terminal, pythonland.py. And here is a response about task decomposition. And when I come to the server, you can see the chain which we ran and the list of steps. So if I click this and I can see clear list of steps which it took. First, it retrieved the data from Chroma DB and also it contains the source URL. Then it formatted the document with different chunks, page content, page content, page content, page content. Then we got the question here, what is task decomposition? Then we are creating chat prompt template. So put all the chunks and the question together and send it to large language model to get the final response. So here is the complete prompt and here is the response from the large language model. Finally, using output parser, we are able to get the output. So the whole end-to-end -end conversation is clearly tracked. Finally, we are going to see how you can integrate Llama index. So adding Llama index is same as before, same like Langchain instrumenter. You got Llama index instrumenter, and this is the only line which is different compared to a normal Llama index application. So we are just adding this to add the tracing and all other code remains the same. So even in this, we are indexing the data from this path and then asking question based on that. That's it. In this way, you are able to trace your Llama index application. Now I want to show a few more things. This application not only supports tracing, you can do evaluation. You can evaluate for hallucinations and able to plot metrics and identify if the response is hallucinated or not. Then retrieve data. You are able to analyze the retrieved data. You are able to analyze RAG relevance, summarization, code generation, toxicity, ground truth, SQL generation eval, and tool calling eval. Also, you can monitor your RAG application. I'm really excited about this. I'm going to create more videos similar to this, so stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.